Welcome, folks, to tonight's game. This one promises to be a good one between the Moorhead State Eagles and the Indiana Hoosiers. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability. I mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Hoosiers should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them, though? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First of all, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Second, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. And finally, keep it simple defensively and play as a unit. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Number three is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Goes for the deep one. Oh, yes. Time to pick up the defense here now. Takes the pass in the paint. He hits it. That was awesome, baby. Dumps it in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Got the high pick. Great shot. We'll get another look at it. Jumps into the defender. Working it around the perimeter. Number 14 with the ball. He gets that one to fall. Trying to feed inside. Makes the block. That was absolutely phenomenal. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number 22 gets the pass. Looks at a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's a double team. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him and he lost possession. Puts it up looking for contact. Working around the arc, looking for a good shot. Number 20 comes up with it. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. They work it around the perimeter. Number 23 is receiving great praise from the fans. 
He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Alley oop for the bucket. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious scrub with their shooting, Brad. They look to get it to the inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He hits the shot. Number three is eager and excited to compete. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. He dials long distance. Indiana have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the outside. The ball goes out of bounds. Trying to go inside. Double team now, bad angle. Number 20 grabs it. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. And our trifecta. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Number three steps to the line for the first time. Routine. We're going to move it around the perimeter. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. On the dribble, gives it up. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. The small forward gets the ball. Had a guy in the post but elected to reverse the ball. Fires away. That's good. Pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. He does the sweet fake shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got a high post flasher. He puts up the three ball. Sinks the shot. The shooting guard takes the feed. He buries it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Indiana have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Trying to draw some contact. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. Number 22 takes the pass. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots. Drains the shot. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Working it around the perimeter. Down in the low block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Number 35 makes the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. Launches the three. Indiana are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. loose but the offense got it back the fake and he'll kick it back outside turns it over up it inside He pump fakes. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. And in and out. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. On the dribble, gives it up for two. He drains it. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Trying to draw the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Turnaround jumper. And he missed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Shoots from outside, way off target. With the jump hook, do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. I tell you, that's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? Inside. 
The Eagles have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get them the ball. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. It's stolen. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Good job defensively. They just won't get many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got a man in high post. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Indiana are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Jumps in. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Great anticipation defensively. For the bucket, the Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. On the outside. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He goes to the line. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Second one is good. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. Aaron's right about that. Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Look at these fans. They're loving it. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Let's 
see if they can get a good shot this trip. Number 20 steals the ball. They work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Looking for a good shot. A little frustration right there. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. goes out of play. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Taken away. Number 20. He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He is going to the line. Makes it. play into the double. Yeah, they may be forcing the double a little bit. The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Oh yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the shot. Shot clock is dead. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up. For the bucket, up, easy one. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. At the half, the Eagles are behind by 15. This has been a good one so far, folks. Dick, what's your take as the highlight of the half? The three balls are coming, Brad. My highlight has to be this three-pointer. I expect more of that in the second half. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. 
Indiana is having a great night shooting the ball so far, but you got to wonder, can they keep it up in the second half? Well, it all depends on whether they get too confident or not. Sometimes when players shoot well, they forget why. Most of the time, it's because they're shooting high percentage shots. If you don't take bad shots, you're going to have a high percentage. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? You're simply saying, warm up the bus, baby. Let's get ready for the next game. Nah, really, you got to try to get the kids to understand possession by possession. What I would do, Brad, is play the game in segments, four-minute segments. Let's try to win each four minutes. Perfectly executed. The Hoosiers are up by 15. On the outside, leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Look at that spacing. Fakes it. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He's got a nice shot fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. The Eagles are down by 16. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip, going one way, and you spin back the other way. Takes away the pass. Gave it up with a quarterback pass. Tries for two. Moorhead State are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. They work the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Knocks it down. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far. Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. They still don't score. Number 15 picks up the foul. Way out on top, controlling the ball, makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The Eagles trail by 13. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. He intercepts it. Oh, 
Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He unloads a three. He drains the bucket. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 14 makes a great move to draw the foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Hits the first. Hits two at the charity strike. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Fake. For two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Controlling the ball. Will take the shot. Off the rim and no good. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Inside. He launches the bomb. He gets the bucket to fall. Check this one out. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. It's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Perfectly executed. The Hoosiers lead by 17. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Stolen away. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped them. Hey, when a team's hot, they're hot, baby. The defense putting in a great effort, but it's just not getting it done. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. a three gets it to go he launches a three nice shot the Eagles trail by 17 Gives it up. Good fake. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Nice fake. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Oh, 
with a bucket. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Got to make that baby have a wide open angle. Had a chance to lay it on the glass for an easy goose. Goes up for two. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. Pushing that basketball. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Watch out, Nick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Picked out of the air. Look at that spacing. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the outside. Pull up jumper from way out. Questionable shot selection there. That shot was definitely ill advised. On the inside. Jumps into the defender. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes. He bombs from outside. He couldn't get it to fall. I'd say they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. What a tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. Drains it. Working around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Wait a minute, let's replay that one. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. Isn't it great, Brad? Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Sinks the shot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and she 
you got in store for us, Aaron? Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. All right, thanks, Aaron. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Let's it fly. Great shot. From right in the circle, he rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. He attempts the three. You betcha. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Working around the arc from three-point range. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. Picks off the pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Intercepted. Way out on top, controlling the ball. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. Up and inside. Great defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Puts it up, looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. a double team waiting there. They get out on the break. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Steals a pass. Number one's inferior play is really affecting his composure now. He needs for something positive to happen, which will light his fire and get him going. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Gave it up. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. student body. They are going mad. They look like they're having a blast. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That's 
spacing. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Puts up the shot. He shows the sweet touch. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Looking for a good shot. Up and inside. Got a nice screen. Kicks it out. Launches away. He's money with the shot. Step out on that screener. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. the dribble gives it up they move it into the front court here's the three ball way off target the students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win you can't forget about them the witty humor and dedication to their teams you can't find this in any other team sport they let him get into a rhythm Gave it up, picked off, trying to draw some contact. Number 35 makes the finger roll. Here we go on the break. And the ball goes out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. That spin move not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. There's a high screen. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Dick, we expected them to win. They did win. They've been impressive all year long, and they just keep rolling along. Well, they're impressive because they understand one another, and they love playing together. They are so unselfish. I think their commitment to winning is what it's all about. Win, win, and win. Indiana showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale.